The ROK US alliance remains strong and cohesive. Uh, for example, today President Moon Jae in had a telephone conversation with President Trump for, for 30 minutes. They reaffirmed the collective actions, cooperation, and coordination. Therefore, I don't see any single iota of you know, dissension within the alliance system. You say that the alliance is strong, but it has been tested by President Trump. President Trump sent that tweet criticizing South Korea's appeasement and talk of appeasement. He's also told South Korea it should go pay for that by itself. There's also reports that Donald Trump is considering ending the free trade agreement with South Korea. How does South Korea deal with that, and doesn't that undercut the alliance? South Koreans have somewhat disappointed by President Trump's tweet on the whole yeah. issue of a policy of appeasement. Yeah. South Korea has never taken any policy of appeasement. Yeah. South Korea has taken side with the United States 100 percent since the inauguration of President Trump. Therefore, we do not understand how and why President Trump would come up with that kind of tweet. Yeah. Another factor that's challenging the relationship domestic politics and domestic forces here inside South Korea. We do have a new liberal government in power here in, in South Korea. Are, are there more calls growing for embracing engagement with North Korea? Very that's, different from what the U.S. wants. That's true. Yeah. President Moon is a product of candlelight rallies. Yeah. And the candlelight people have a strong desire to have a peaceful settlement of North Korean nuclear issue. Therefore, President Moon is kind of sandwiched by this liberal progressive desire from South Korea and American hardline in the policy. Yeah. Really, President Moon has been agonizing over this, you know, the, the sandwich dilemma. So he's in this sandwich dilemma. Which face is he going to put forward when he meets with the Russian president tomorrow in Vladivostok? We know that Mr. Putin says no sanctions, stop the military provocations. We should focus on dialogue. W will the South Korean president agree? Uh, so president Moon Jae-in made it clear today in his interview with the Russian uh, official news agency TASS. Uh -huh. He said that the he would like to pursue dialogue with North Korea yep. in whatever forms. Therefore, he wanted to stick to the, his earlier position that he wanted to pursue two, two track approach. Yep. Uh, dialogue on the one hand and sanctions and pressures. And on the other hand, he believed that he can and the concerned countries can reconcile the, these two conflicting approaches. Yeah, and that's something that Donald Trump doesn't want to hear. I hope not. Now we have news of this potential new ICBM test that's going to take place, perhaps as early as this weekend. Um, why does this keep happening? What can deter, what can stop North Korea? Dialogue, recognition. That is what North Korea wants. But it will be very hard for the U.S. to come forward in that direction. Mm. We'll have to see if... Uh if that direction is the way forward, if that's going to happen. Again, that's not what the Trump administration wants. I We're hope so. Impasse. I hope that President Trump would come up with a more proactive attitude to North Korea in such a way to settle North Korea nuclear issue peacefully.